Jeddo's Patch is one of those inspirational destinations you will discover on Facebook. It's a page that shares the trials, tribulations and learnings from Dario and Michelle Franzinelli's garden. It's a classic quarter acre block gradually converted into a food production factory, overflowing with hundreds of different edible plants. Some you know, and some you'll never have heard of. Now, Michelle, I know a lot of people talk about the investment in the garden. They say, oh, look, I didn't have to put too much into it. It's cost me peanuts. But this really didn't cost you a lot, did it? No. Because these peanuts are a fantastic border plant. Yes, and they're great fun for children to grow to. Now, I can see there's a bit of yellowing starting to occur, so we've probably got a couple of... There we go. There's a good example of a peanut coming out. Yay. So, homegrown. Now, do you... What do you do with these once you've harvested them? Um, wash them down? I just... Yeah, I just wash them. I let them dry out for, for a few weeks and then we just start eating them. Sensational. You show us around the rest of the garden? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Michelle, this is one of the most beautiful flowers, but it's not the flower that people grow this for, is it? No, it's the bud that's pickled and is a gourmet delicacy. OK, so we're talking about the caper, and not too many people would realise they can grow capers at home. Fantastic coastal plant, a bit of a ground cover type habit. Yeah, it makes a very good ground cover. Um, some years later, it'll turn into more of a shrub, yep. but that takes quite a while. Now, something that's a lot bigger than a shrub, but I just love the fruit. I noticed you've got lily pillies over here. When we were kids, we used to call them Chinese apples, and that's because fruit itself has got that wonderful crispy apple flavour. Yeah, they've got a unique flavour. Very, very sweet. And they're good because they'll give you about five months of a fruit crop. Mmm. Oh, no, they're absolutely sensational. Speaking of things that are sensational, because I would put these into a salad now. Just over here, something I would definitely put into a salad. Oh, my goodness, it's so good for you. Yeah, it's great. Tuscan kale. It's mm. got a unique flavour. It's not a kind of uh, sulphur, cabbage flavour at all. No. It's very delicate. And, of course, kale is so good for your personal health, you know, particularly for your stomach. Now, they've discovered that there's a, an enzyme in this that stimulates the, the way your blood works in your stomach, so it makes your stomach work extra good. So it's certainly not something you're going to eat before you go for a long drive with somebody who you care for, but <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> Oh, now this is a tree that I've got at home, but it's nowhere near as big as this at the moment, Michelle. Yes, this is the ice cream bean tree. Inga edulis, and that is exactly what we're looking for, is those pods. Now, they're about halfway to ripe? Yes. Yeah. And when you crack them open, they've got this white pith inside with a seed in the middle. Now, it's the white pith that actually tastes just like ice cream without the calories. Mm. 